In this demonstration, we'll take a look at how to capture the contents of memory using FDK Imager. To capture the contents of memory and create an image file that can then be analyzed, you go to the File menu and choose Capture Memory. Within the Capture Memory dialog box, you specify the destination path, the folder where you want to store the image of memory at. In my case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and expand out our C drive here and choose the Images folder. Once you choose the destination folder, you then specify the file name, the destination file name. You can also include the contents of the swap file. Your system is constantly swapping out information from true memory down to the swap file. Uh, in Windows, we call it the page file or pagefile.sys. So you can include that as well in your image. You can also specify to create an AD1 file. The AD1 file is a file type that's opened up with the Forensics Toolkit that you can then use to perform the analysis on what was stored in memory on the suspect system. Once I choose my options, I can then hit the Capture Memory button to capture the contents of memory. In this demonstration, you saw how to capture the contents of memory using FTK Imager.